Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, you know, we've talked about real estate as an investment, as far as like renting out a place. We've talked about real estate like Airbnb, but there's also commercial real estate, right? And commercial real estate is any property used to generate income for a business or investor and includes types from, you know, office buildings to amusement parks. You know, commercial real estate is property used for business or investing purposes and many different property types, including office buildings, warehouses, retail stores, even laboratories, they fit under the broad umbrella of commercial real estate. Now, notably, commercial real estate is almost always used to generate revenue for a business, but it can also be a personal investment. Now, commercial real estate is a popular investment strategy because the properties aren't directly tied to the stock market. On top of that, Collecting rent revenues from the properties can be a reliable source of passive income. Well, commercial real estate, when it comes down to it, it's basically just any property that can be used to make money, either from being leased to somebody who pays rent or from being bought and sold as investment. You can also think of commercial real estate as any kind of real estate that isn't used exclusively for lodging. Uh, you know, single family homes like we were talking about, you know, but that being said, apartments, you know, sometimes you might see them referred to as multifamily properties. They're considered to be a kind of commercial real estate. So what are the main types of commercial real estate? Well, there's four main types of commercial real estate, and it's going to be office, multifamily, retail, and industrial. Of course, there are plenty of types of real estate that don't fit cleanly into one of those categories. And there are also like mixed use, special purpose, uh, hospitality, medical office, laboratory space, land, cold storage, affordable housing, parking garages, manufactured homes, senior living. The list just keeps going and keeps going and keeps going. Now, let's go over some of the definitions of some of those property types, though, so we can get kind of a better understanding. So, mixed use is going to refer to commercial real estate that has just a bunch of different uses. Think, uh, you know, an apartment complex with a grocery store on the ground floor, right? And then we've got special purpose commercial real estate, which can include... A whole bunch of different property types. I mean, churches, aquariums, movie theaters, and other properties that can't easily be converted for a different use. And then, of course, we all know hospitality. This is going to refer to your hotels and your resorts and stuff like that. Then we have medical, right? Medical offices, properties. Um, these are just offices or clinics typically used for outpatient medical purposes. Now, cold storage facilities, these are going to be large, refrigerated, industrial properties, right? Commonly used to store things like perishable food, medicine, stuff like that. Then, of course, affordable housing, which is housing intended for individuals or families who earn less than an area's median income. Now, manufactured homes are prefabricated, factory-built homes, or... You know, a lot of people know them as mobile homes. Now, assisted living properties, it's going to be the last one, and these are typically residential properties intended for older adults and typically include on site care providers. Okay, well, now that we know what it is, how do we invest in it? Well, one of the most popular ways for an individual to invest in commercial real estate is by investing in REITs. Right, we talked about this in a previous video, right? REITs are just, you know, real estate investment trusts. Now, REITs can own, finance, manage, or operate real estate. The REIT's main source of income is in the rent it collects from its properties. Collectively, REITs are estimated to own about 500,000 commercial real estate properties in the United States, right? And they these are collectively worth about $3.5 trillion. That's a lot. The majority of them are publicly traded companies. So one of the most common ways of investing in commercial real estate is just buying shares of a REIT. Some REITs are privately held companies, 
Those REITs collect individual investments from their investors as opposed to having investors buy shares of their company. They don't have to register with the Securities and Exchange Commission and aren't regulated by the SEC either, making them less transparent than a publicly traded REIT. Most private REITs, they're going to require a a minimum investment that's going to be anywhere from about $1,000 all the way up to about $25,000. But others are designed specifically for high net worth investors and require a much higher investment. I mean, million plus. Of course, you can also directly invest in commercial real estate by buying a commercial property and leasing it to a business or income generating tenant. However, This is a riskier investment strategy because it will almost certainly require you to invest more cash than you would if you simply just bought a share of a REIT. Okay, well, how is commercial real estate valued? Well, like all kinds of real estate, much of commercial real estate's value is determined by its location. You know, retail properties are going to be more valuable if they're located in high traffic areas. Of course, many other factors play into the value of commercial real estate. You know, demographic shifts, for example, have led to strong demand for assisted living properties and senior housing as a greater proportion of Americans approach retirement age. And the rise in e-commerce and online shopping has led to more brick and mortar retail stores closing their doors for good. On the flip side, e-commerce has also created robust demand for industrial properties to store products along the supply chain. Understanding the value of commercial real estate is anything but simple. And that's why you should work with a broker or expert who understands all the nuances of the property type you're looking to invest in. Beyond that, most types of commercial real estate can be sorted into one of three categories. Class A, Class B, and Class C. Based on their quality, amenities, age, parking ratio, security systems, and other factors. The designations can be somewhat subjective, of course, but you know they're going to provide both potential tenants and building owners with an idea of what the property does and doesn't offer. Class A properties are typically new, well-located properties that offer modern, state-of-the-art amenities. For an office building, that might mean tenants have the ability to control the temperature on their floor. It could also include a rooftop courtyard open to all building occupants. These buildings are often of architectural significance and are as visually appealing as they are practically appealing to potential tenants and owners. Now, Class class B properties, they won't be brand new, uh, but they'll typically offer standard amenities and be well located. A A Class B office building, for example, might not offer a rooftop courtyard, but it would include a relatively new cafeteria or tenant lounge. You know, these properties might have been Class A properties when they were built. And then, of course, we have Class C properties, and these are just older buildings in less than ideal locations. Now, they don't offer modern amenities, haven't been well-maintained, or recently renovated and aren't visually appealing. So, when it comes down to it, if you're going to invest in commercial real estate, the easiest way is a REIT, right? But if you want to go out and buy commercial real estate and get your own tenants in there, it's the same thing is say if you're going to buy like a duplex or triplex or, you know, a fourplex, you're basically just trying to get the tenants in there, get it leased out and get money for it, but it's probably going to cost more than you think it is. So really do your homework on this. If it's something you want to do, you know, don't just rush into it. But I hope you guys got a lot of information on this video. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up button. If you're not subscribed to the channel, I know I would appreciate it if you did. But until I see you guys in the next one, y'all be safe.